5G solving rate problems. The first example here, we're just going to be doing some estimating, which I know is everyone's favorite thing to do. So an estimate obviously is not going to be a perfect number, but it is approximately what you think might be reasonable for each of the following rates that are given here. So the first estimate we want to do is a commercial rate that being the number of commercials on the TV per hour. Now, possibly a lot of you probably don't watch a lot of things on TV anymore, but of a, an hour long program, how many ad breaks do you think there are where it goes to, stops the TV show, whatever it is, goes to ad? You reckon it's six in an hour? That's right, that's why it's an estimate. All right, so I, I reckon six is probably a pretty good estimate for that. But in, yes, in those six breaks, how many ads do you think they show per break? Like four or five. Four or five? So how about we just go with five in the middle there and we'll say three times, six times five is 30, maybe 30 ads. So as a rate, that would be 30 commercials. How is that shorter than commercials? <laughs> per hour. No, use the words in there, please. Part B. I now want to estimate a typing speed, is which is the words that you type per minute. Now, as a student, I don't know, we might have some pro typers in here, but possibly maybe... 40 words per minute. Do you guys know how fast you can type? Yeah. How fast can you type, Matt? 70. 70? Wow, you're fast. About 150 per minute. All I know is that one of my friends, one of my friends in primary school, he can type on so fast, like the keyboard sound like it was getting bashed. For okay. All right, so you want to go like really fast, like 70 words per minute. That's, that's more than a word per second. Really, you hear that fast? Yeah, I think maybe my friend here. Mika, where's your stuff? Go that, please. All right, it's just an estimate. Some people are faster, some people are slower. Part C, laughing rate. This is another one that's really difficult to judge. How often do you laugh in an hour? What do you reckon? No, do you laugh a lot or a little? Yesterday I laughed. So it depends if She's laughing now. You laugh a lot. Say, so for me, worries. it's like 20 times in an hour. No way. But like, what if you're at like a comedy show? 15, 15. All right. 20. I would go lower. I'm, I would make, like 10 I think is pretty generous. Oh, yeah. 20 is the lowest. Okay, no well, if, if you're a funny person, then maybe you can make it a little bit higher. Because if you're a cat, we're not out of meeting everything. <laughs> I don't even know that I would laugh 10 times in an hour, but you know. That's, that's a lot of laughing. All right, D, growth rate. The average growth rate of a child from zero to 15 years of age. So remember that a baby starts at about 50 centimeters. And are you guys 15? No. 14? 14, 15? Okay, so what? who wants to tell me their height? <laughs> oh, he's super tall. We can't take him. In centimetres, please. No, Clint, 743. All right, how about 170? Is that good? I'm 165. Yeah, you guys are all taller than me. Just do yours, do yours. All right, so if it was me, I'm not 15 though, so it says between 0 and 15. 173. Okay. All right, guys, stop yelling out. It's going to take forever. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so um, if we take 160, or 160 is a nice, easy number, and we say that we are 50 centimetres when we were born, so that means that we've grown... 110 centimeters in your 15 years. So if you do 110 and you divide that by 15, that's about seven centimeters a year, which is an approximate. I'm not going to do the point three, so I'm going to say seven centimeters per year. 
Not our. 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 Don't make a mistake. Year eight. Enough. Jeez. Calm down. Running rate. Your running rate in meters per second, and we're not Usain Bolt here. So how fast can we run like the hundred meters? One hundred meter per second. Twelve seconds. One hundred meters per second. Four. So you reckon you can run the 100 metres in 12 seconds? 350. Stop yelling out. I don't know. What are we at? 20 seconds? Oh, yeah. That's still pretty fast. 30 seconds. All right, all right, all right. I'm just going to double Usain Bolt, who's like 10. So it's going to be divide that by 10 seconds. That, we can't do that. We can't do, oh, sorry. Can we do two meters every second? One meter every second. No, two meters. Oh, you reckon you can do two meters per second? You guys are fast. You guys are fast. I don't know about that. A meter a second is like. Okay, all right. Homework rate, this is a good one. The number of subjects with, no, 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 wait, wait. It's not how much you do, it is how many subjects that have homework that you should be doing per night. Five. So like five a night? Four. Four. Seven. One, which is max. One, one per night, okay. Yeah, you Don't you have assignments? Yeah, yeah but that, that's they're 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 Okay, all right. One, two, three, somewhere in there per night. Clapping rate. The standard rate of an audience clapping. Oh, goodness. In a minute. How many, all right, how many claps can you do in a minute? Ready, set, go. Are you counting? Start, how many was that? 68. 68. 68. Enough. They're clapping too. They must be up to the same spot. Are you? Do yeah. We're doing clap rates per minute. Yeah, we did that last class. Oh, okay. You're ahead of us, are you? You're ahead of us. Oh, uh, because I'm away next week. I'll oh, quicker. okay. Fair enough. What did you guys get to? 120. Oh my goodness, you guys are so. This is crazy. All right, I'm going to go. 49, that's pathetic. All right, some people clap faster than others. Maybe it's a slow, sarcastic slap. Clap, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, slow. No, just this. Yeah, all right. All right, one last one, thank goodness. The thank you rate. How many opportunities opportunities are there to say thank you per day? So it's at least seven, then. 25. 25, all right. Thank you. I like people like so many times. Okay, so you're not going to get a lot of questions like those because we have, can have such a diverse... Range of what the numbers could be, but it is a little bit of practice with our units and things in there as well. Let's move on to question two. A casual teacher earns three hundred thirty-four dollars per day and works for seven point five hours. Calculate their hourly rate. So that would be the amount of money that they earn and the time that it takes to do it, which is seven point five hours. So if we take three hundred and thirty-four and we divide by 7.5, that is, we do, because it's money, two decimal places, 44.53. And that would be dollars per hour. Damn. Don't oh yell out, that's enough. No. Part B, this is all about the same income, okay? So part B, how much are they going to get for working a full week, which is five work days? If they earn $334 per day, don't use the hourly rate that we worked out. How about we just times their per day rate by five? So 334 times five equals? No, I think he mistyped something. 1,670 for the week. Now, in a school year, 
there is approximately 39 weeks that we do of school in a year. So how much are they going to get paid annually, which is per year? We're going to do 39 times by their weekly pay, which was 1670. Is this accurate? No, made up. Is it more or less accurate? Not a question for now. So that's, oh, what I, no, I was too busy talking and now I typed in the wrong thing. Let me try that again. 1670, and I want to times that by 39. So 65130. Okay, so that's $65,000, 130 a year. All right, next page. A car travels at 70 kilometers per hour, and speed is a very popular rate that we like to use. How far can it go in two hours? So remember, this is what we call a unitary method. That 70 kilometers is for one hour. So if I were to do two hours, I just have to times that 70 by two, which is going to be 140 just kilometers. It's telling how far I'm going to go, which is in kilometers. If I'm going to go travel for eight hours, I'm going to times the 70 by eight, which is 560 kilometers. Now, a thing that you might want to include on your study sheet is this little triangle that speed is equal to distance over time. Have you used that in science before? Okay, so that one, with, our, with speed being such a popular rate, it helps you to convert between any of the three things that we use in a rate. And how you use it is, if you want to work out how far you're going, how far is a distance. If you cover up the D with your thing, because that's what you're trying to find, it means it's the speed times the time, which is what I've been doing, my speed times my time that I'm going for. If you're wanting to work out the time, you cover up the time, and it's the distance on top of the speed, so it's distance divided by speed. And if you want to work out the speed, it's the distance on top divided by the time. So it helps you with all three options of your speed. Yeah. Okay, question C, we want to do half an hour. 30 minutes is half an hour. So it's going to be 70 times one half, which is going to be 35 kilometers. 45 minutes. What is that as hours? Three over four. But if you don't simplify the fraction, what you could do for those of you that don't know that is whatever minutes you are given, you always divide the minutes by 60 because there's 60 minutes in an hour. And that would simplify to the three over four, but don't have to worry about simplifying because we're still going to calculate that from there anyway. Um, does anyone do that answer? 52 point something? 0.5. Oh, 70. Sorry, it should be 70. Thank you. Did you type in 70 or 75? Oh, good, because I just wrote the wrong thing down. Okay, so it's 52.5 kilometers. Okay. One last question, and this one needs a big star because it is quite a doozy. Three big bricklayers, Mark, Hugh, and Ethan, are cladding a new home. If Mark were to work alone, the job would take him eight days to complete. If Hugh were to work alone, the job would take him six days to complete. And if Ethan were to work by himself, the job would take him 12 days to complete. Sorry, Ethan, don't know why you're in the question. It was made up. If, three men, if the three men work together, how long is it going to take them to complete the job? So what we need to know is the rate at which each one of them can work. So Mark, the first guy, it takes him eight days to complete a house. So he's completing one house in eight days, or one over eight, which is one eighth of a house per day. Hugh, okay, it takes him six days to complete his house, doesn't it? So that would be one sixth of a house per day. And Ethan takes 12 days to complete a house. So it's one twelfth of a house per day. I'm sure that's because he does quality work. Right. So in one day, if we were to put those three guys together and they were to work on just one house, they would complete one eighth 
plus one six plus one twelfth. Okay? Mark's going to complete one eighth of the house, Hugh's going to complete one sixth of the house, and Ethan's going to complete one twelfth of the house. We don't have to do this without common denominators, you can just put those in the calculator. And that means, anyone do it? Three yeah, they will complete three eighths of a house in a day. So not a whole house. To work out how many days it's going to take them to complete one house, I need to complete one house and I'm going to divide by that three eighths. So how many three eighths am I going to need to get to that one full house? Three. Not quite. Three. It's two and two thirds. Two and two third days to build a house. Okay, if all three of them work together. All right. But part B, same, same question following on. What fraction of the house will each brick which will each of the brick layers complete? Okay, remember they're not all working the same amount. Hugh works much faster than Ethan. Okay? But Mark, start with Mark. He will build his one eighth per day. But how many days is he working? He's working for two and two third days on that house, which means that he's going to complete, times those together, he completes one third of the house. All right, what about Hugh? Hugh builds, he can do one sixth of a house per day which means if I times that by the two and two-third days that they're working, he will complete. Anyone done it? Still thinking about it? Maybe you should try, maybe everyone should try typing those in. Lots of fractions in there. Make sure you use the three boxes for the mixed numeral. So you're doing one over six times, bring up the three boxes, two and two thirds. So four ninths. He's completing four ninths of the house. And lucky last, Ethan builds, he builds one twelfth a day and he works for two and two third days. Do you want me to just tell you? Oh, two over nine, good. So it is two ninths of a house. If you were to add together those three fractions, it would equal one because together they have completed one whole house. Okay, but that's how much each one of them has completed. Okay, so that's it for the theory part. Your stuff starts on the next page.